Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I have the Lego EV3, Mr. Hino's custom built color sensor dump truck. Actually, it's a sorter too. So if you want to see how I built it and you want to see how it works, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So there are a lot of LEGO EV3 color sorters out there. Let me show you some. Let's watch this thing. Perfect. Check that out. Love this robot. Yeah. And that's not even all of them. There's more than that. But today I just wanted to show you how I built this robot here. It's basically an educator bot, but I put this little attachment on here to basically see colors and then sort them. And then I figured, hey, it could probably end up being like a dump truck where it can sort things out by color. So let me show you how I built it. So like I told you, this is just a regular educator bot here with a media motor attachment. And then what I did is I basically built a color sensor holder here so that it can hold something that the color sensor can detect what color it is. So if you can see here, I basically just made it out of curved white and gray um, beams. It didn't stick um, together or hold together, so I used this expansion rubber band here. And basically what I hope to do is drop things in here, have the color sensor recognize what color it is, and then sort it into these cups here. But that's basically it. And so I just wanted it to be able to hold things in. So basically if I just drop it in here, it'll recognize the color and then be able to run a program where it can sort those colors into those cups. Okay, so today the goal is going to be I have colored marbles that I'm going to be dropping into the color sensor. I don't even know what I call it. Just holder, holder for things. And then what I want the robot to do is be able to recognize the color and then come over to these cups and drop it into the cups. And then basically what I want to do is loop the program, have the robot come back to the starting position and drop whatever color I want to into this holder and have the robot come and drop the color off. So the goal is for the robot to be able to see these colors and to be able to run the program. Now today I did not show you what the program is. If you would like to see the program like, hey, I, that's cool, how do you do that? Um, you know, send me some kind of comment or message in the um, comment section and I'll do another video where I can show you the program. It's basically a switch program inside of a loop and then I basically just opened up cases for each color that I wanted the robot to recognize. So again, if you want to see that program, I'll do it in another video. I didn't do it in this one. So right now I want to go ahead and test the program and see if it works. And then eventually if it does, then I want to branch out and figure out, okay, what else can this thing sort that's actually productive and helpful? So let's go first to seeing if it can sort the marbles. Okay, I have two blue, two yellow, two green, two red marbles. Sorter bot and the program are ready. 
Here is the color sensor with the trap for the marbles. And there are the cups that we want to sort these marbles into. So let's go ahead and start with two red. Sort of those like a champ. Let's go to two yellow. Nice. Let's go ahead and go to two blue. Let's do blue again. There we go. And let's finish off with green. Okay, so I was expecting this, so let me move one of the greens here. It's somehow not picking up green very well. Okay. That's good. Okay, let's see. Put this. Just not having the greatest time picking up green. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how the color sorter did. Blue, green, yellow, and red so you know there's gonna be some issues here with the sensor picking up certain colors for some reason I just don't know why um, sometimes it picks up yellow as red um, you're just gonna have to really show it really well to it and then it just was having a hard time just picking up green but it's some you know managed to sort the colors so there you go everybody the color sorter bot here with the color sensor trap okay guys check this out this sorter bot here could organize or sort your pins or connectors And we always try to make a connection to real life. What if this sorter bot here could sort things like trash or recyclables? Okay, guys, so there you have it. I don't even know if I have a name for this, so great job to the color sorter, color sensor dump truck. Um, I don't know. It's just I don't want to call it a color sorter because there's just so many other color sorters out there. So I'll call it the color sorter dump truck. And so again, there's how I built it. And basically, you know, it, it works like a champ. Like I said in the video, there's some times where it doesn't recognize the colors very well. So you just have to, if you're going to build this, be able to just find the right shade of the color. Because I've noticed that different shades, it the color sensor, you know, recognizes it better. Okay, so hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you can give it a, give it a shot. It's super easy to, I mean, once I figured out what I wanted to do, it was easy to build. And then programming it, like I said, I'll share that program with you if you guys let me know if you want it okay all right guys i am mr hino from mr hino's lag robotics i'm out Go!
keys out. Keys out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.